Say firefighters are using AI technology. High school students are using AI technology. And AI wasn't top of mind. That has changed. A change now happening inside the walls of UC San Diego Health in La Jolla. I do. And this patient's got really complicated anatomy. Dr. Albert Shao is the interim division chief of cardiothoracic radiology. He also leads UCSD's artificial intelligence lab. In this radiology viewing room, he's marrying the two. And somewhere in there is the heart. This is a scan of a human heart with congenital disease. And this red over here um, is, uh, is an abnormal connection between what's called the aorta and the right atrium. Mm -hmm. And so that's a hole in the heart that needs to be repaired. Shao says he would normally spend hours analyzing pictures to see what's happening here. AI helped do it in about 10 minutes while literally pointing out the issues. So These arrows pointing mm -hmm. that way are illustrating yeah. the blood flowing that way. That's right. Wow. So if I uh, take off that correction, you can see the arrows aren't really moving in the right direction. So sure. um, there's all this what's called phase error. Uh -huh. uh, so we have AI algorithms that basically correct that phase error. Meaning doctors don't necessarily have to be there to do it. My expertise can be shared across multiple places mm -hmm. and um, that, that's what AI allows us to do. Outside radiology. We have a formula here that we've been using for years to try to predict what the census will be. UCSD Health Chief Medical Officer Dr. Chris Longhurst says artificial intelligence is now helping predict how many patients they can expect on any given day, how much staff to have on hand, and even how the weather could affect that. But when we added in this AI base that's, that you can see is under development uh, for both La Jolla and Hillcrest, this gives us, it turns out, a much more accurate forecast at 24 and 48 hours out. AI is already powering parts of your patient experience too. Right now, almost 100 UCSD health doctors are in a pilot program using AI to draft online messages with patients and documents like insurance appeals letters. We're already learning just in the last six months that these large language models like ChatGPT can be used really effectively on all of this text data that we already have in our electronic health records. But that comes with privacy and security concerns. Longhurst says when UCSD Health partners with AI companies, the work happens within the UCSD system, keeping the data safely locked inside. Nothing's more important than the trust that our patients have given us and, and keeping their data secure, and so we put all sorts of safeguards around that. Safeguards already in the forefront of some futuristic innovation. UCSD staff played with this robot, doling out medical advice during a symposium in May. However, I cannot diagnose or treat medical conditions as I am not a medical professional. Patients aren't interacting with it right now, but it's a peek into a future Longhurst can see coming as part of the AI revolution. Do I think that we'll see robot doctors in 20 years or 50 years? I'm not sure that's the case. I do think that we'll see robots with AI doing all sorts of tasks from helping to care for um, patients, uh, providing support, and maybe even keeping our seniors company as they uh, progress through stages of dementia. Earlier this year, UCSD Health got a $22 million grant from philanthropists Joan and Erwin Jacobs. UCSD says that money will pay for a Center for Health Innovation at the Jacobs Medical Center, which would ultimately use AI and a mission control center of sorts to monitor patients and even track disease outbreaks. A lot more insight into all of this happening at UCSD on our website, cbsa.com.